Hello, welcome. This is a reading for a relationship and it's for March. Yay! <laughs> okay, so it's the Twin Flame, the Twin Flame reading, um, but you can apply it to any relationship that you might be dealing with somebody with, um, you know, like a emotionally avoidant person. I find it hard to say that word, emotionally avoidant person. Um, so it doesn't have to be your twin flame, but it could just be somebody that's avoiding emotional connection. Um, and my new deck arrived, which is really exciting. Okay. That deck there. So, cause I said yesterday I, I had a deck coming. I, I've ordered this new relationship deck, so it's kind of fun to use this. So let's pick a card to do with this first of all. So it's for March and it is for Twin Flame. And like I said, I know a lot of you are sort of over your Twin Flame now, but some of you might not be. But if you are over your Twin Flame, this could just be talking about anyone that's avoiding emotional connection. So let's see what we get. <laughs> okay, past lives. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. <laughs> so your twin flame person or this person who's emotionally not connecting with you, you've been connected with them in a past life. Okay. So you may have already sensed that anyway. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. Recent past. Okay, an ending. Okay, so... For a lot of you, there's been an ending or um, a change going on with your twin flame situation or this person who is emotionally avoidant. Um, you may have chosen to be single here, um, but you have also gone through this massive transformation recently as well. This is how it can also be read. It doesn't have to mean this connection is over, but the death card represents transformation and the nine of pentacles represents somebody who values themselves. Um, it represents somebody who is basically uh, deciding to keep themselves safe. <laughs> yeah, um, looking after themselves properly. Um, also, material wealth looks really good with this card. So the transformation um, that you've been making for yourself is actually bringing you into more money abundance. Um, it's putting you in situations that are now more safe for you or more secure. Um, so it's really been a good change that you've gone through, even if it has been difficult. Um, so what's going on in March, please? Wow, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> so coming into a more positive um chapter where things are going to go in your favour and um, it's just it's just a more fortunate period of time it's a yes from the tarot um, there must have been some kind of addiction temperance in reverse represents addictions okay so there's been some sort of change and there will be a change concerning addictions so if your twin flame or your person who's emotionally avoidant has got addiction problems that is going to change and improve um but also if you have had a sort of addiction to this person <laughs> i know a lot of us have then again this is um an ending to that and you're not going to feel so addicted to this connection anymore um possibly but like I said, it can be read in different ways. So if you still have feelings for this person, the addictive part of it goes and just the love remains. Um, but also uh, you could be finding that you just don't feel so addicted to this person generally. Um, and also if you have had other addiction problems yourself, these will be um, improving. Um, and addictions can mean anything. It doesn't have to be to substances. Okay, so the person you think about, um, this twin flame or this person that's emotionally avoidant, they've got the king of pentacles energy. This person is probably really involved in their work in March. 
Um, they're also trying to get themselves in a more grounded, solid position. Like I said, less addictions, less less addictive tendencies, which is good. Um, okay, they've got the High Priestess card. So your person basically is going to be thinking a lot about you. But this is like private kind of thoughts. Um, they're not revealing very much here. Um Okay, what this person thinks of you. The Ten of Wands just fell out. Um, this person is letting go of a burden. Okay, with that card. They're letting go of a burden. Um, they are making decisions in March. Okay, they're making decisions about you. And that's based off the fact that they're finally letting go of some kind of burden. Okay, um, let's have a look what this is about. What is this decision about or more information on this? I feel your person is kind of deciding to let go of um, an opportunity that they had with somebody, but I feel it is well and truly over. I feel like this could be their ex, somebody that they may have had a connection with in the past could be even be their mother <laughs> or a parent figure because it's a queen but it could be an ex and i feel like that's the burden that they have had to let go of um okay so um they're making decisions here to do that um they may even be trying to if you shut the door on this person they may be trying to kind of move forward um and move into a new chapter even though they're thinking about you they feel like you know they have to try and let go and move on um but how they're feeling really <laughs> is hangman so they're going to be having realizations um and um with the page of swords reversed they're realizing that they've got to stop um taking risks um, I feel like your person could have been taking risks because it's coming underneath the temperance card, which is to do with addictions when the temperance is in reversed. I think your person was getting into risky situations or addictive type of things and they're realising they have to stop that, um, you know, and spirit's kind of waking them up. Um, it's like they were probably very much in their ego and making decisions that weren't very wise um, I do feel this person was definitely needing to let go of an addiction or a habit, but also let go of a burden. And I feel that was to do with an ex. Um, and like I said, it's almost like they've been trying to ground themselves and focus on being single. But I feel privately they're st they've still been thinking about you. Um, now... Um, They've got the High Priestess again. How do they want to move forward? This person is so um, private here. that the, the High Priestess is very private energy. Um, doesn't give much away. Um, but I do feel that you do represent the High Priestess. Um, yeah, they, they're just thinking about you, um, but they're not willing to take action they've got here the knight of wands reversed you know um and they've got the four of swords so they're thinking very deeply and they're going into themselves into their own energy um it's very very deep what they did with you and the connection they had with you and obviously the reason for that past lives you know, and so you really, really have affected this person a lot more than they like to admit. They still think about you. They're very private about that. They have been trying to let go of their past. Um, I think they've been trying to let go of an ex mentally. I don't think they've still been with that person probably, but they've been trying to let that go. And they may have even been trying to let you go, you know. Um, but spirit is sort of taking them through a process of trying to get them in a more healthy state with that hangman card and the page of swords reversed 
It's like spirit is saying to them, you can't keep taking risks. You can't keep doing addictive habits. You can't keep operating from your ego. You need to be more responsible. And that's what spirit's trying to drive this person towards. And that's why they're quite quiet. Um, that's why they are sort of not taking action. What's hidden that you don't see is the chariot cards. Okay, so there's going to be movement here. And that is movement fast. It's progress. And it happens quickly. Um, it's about them getting clarity of mind and letting go of their worries. They've had a lot of worries and a lot of blocks. Um, yeah, like this is a block here, you know, not bringing messages through, um, not following up on the attraction that they feel towards you. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's moving forward. Um, they, they're going to be regretting what they've done. That is regrets. So... They, they regret what they've done in terms of blocking you and not following up on their attraction to you, um, you know, but they're trying to move forward in March and let go of these stresses and these worries, um, you know. Um, they, they definitely regret, regret things. They definitely feel disappointed in March that they've kind of missed out on an opportunity with you. It's like they, this person had such a good thing with you and it was such a good opportunity and you were so well matched, um, you know, and it was really good what you had to offer. And it's like they just couldn't let go of their past or they couldn't let go of their addictions at the time. They blocked themselves um, and now in March they're really regretting it they're realising that they were taking silly risks and they risked losing you and they did lose you and they're processing all of that in March. What is the advice from Spirit? <laughs> Magician. Stay very open. Stay very open to the universe. Stay very open to Spirit. You know, you don't really know what is going to happen here. Um... You don't really realise how potent your um, manifestation skills are. And you've got the two of pentacles. So they're saying to you, it's really important to stay very open. But it's also important for you to be weighing up, um, you know, the realis being realistic about what you were really getting from this person. And I know a lot of us have done that with our twin flame. And then if there's someone else that's been emotionally avoidant as well, um, you know, it's like the next, well, we've only just started February, really. But, you know, the next few weeks, it's a chance for us to be very open to the universe, be very present. Um, you know, magician energy is having the magic touch. So things are going to be going well for us in other areas of our lives. Um, and basically, um, we're going to be weighing up um you know being realistic like what were the obstacles in this relationship well we can see what the obstacles are because uh, we're dealing with somebody who you know just tends to stay very private very solitary they don't open up and they don't sort of take action here on um you know what they feel towards um you um and they they tend to just stay stuck in this regret and grief um they've needed to let go They've needed to let go of a few different burdens, I feel. I think there's addictive habits they were in, you know, and also probably past relationships that they hadn't fully, you know, got over. And it's like this person's been very, very stuck. But it does look, with this chariot card and the nine of swords reversed, it does look like they start to move forward in March and they do realise um, all of a sudden that these regrets, because these two cards definitely represent regret. Um, so the advice to spirit for you is to stay in this magician energy, stay very open to the universe um, keep your vibe high and kind of remind yourself like, actually, what was I really getting from this person? You know, um, really, what is the potential there? Because as much as I might have really loved this person, you know, they couldn't actually, there were so many obstacles they kept putting up um, because that is what the two of pentacles represents. It's like, 
the obstacles that are there and, and actually looking at it and weighing it up and being realistic, you know, um, and then being open to actually, well, what could the universe bring me that could be so much better than this? Um, okay, so let's ask Spirit for the outcome. Justice. <laughs> Okay, so you are going to have justice and things are going to go in your favour. Whether that means this person waking up and realising they need to come towards you, yeah, um, they let go of all these anxieties and fears that have been blocking them about you and they finally move forward towards you and that's why Spirit is saying to keep an open mind because this person could well come towards you, you know, in the next few weeks um, and definitely next month it's very possible that they could change their minds once they realize you know spirit's waking them up the hangman is about an awakening and it, it tends to come from spirit because things are not going very well for this person things are not progressing for your person i just want to tell you that they're not moving into a really great new relationship they're not in a they're, they're definitely getting more solid and stable um you know the wheel of fortune is there so they are starting to become less addictive and a bit more grounded in the present moment. Um, and they're trying to, you know, spirit is trying to make, get them to make some good decisions about like letting go of the past. They have to let go of the past. And that's why they need this time on their own to sort of be single and process things, you know, and be more careful about what they do. And they are very careful. They're very cautious. But I think what will happen as they progress through February and as they enter into March is they start to realise, oh, you know, things haven't really gone well and I actually made the wrong choices. Um, so with the Justice card, things are going to go in your favour in uh, March. Um, you will get what you deserve. Um, you are strong enough to deal with the challenges that arise, okay? You're very well placed here. Um, now, things are going to pick up for you as well. Um, and... Um, You've got the King of Swords reversed. I mean, it's like Spirit is saying to you, um, you won't have to really make a judgment. You won't have to make a judgment on this person because the King of Swords energy is about making a judgment. They're saying to you, you won't have to make a judgment on this person because you're going to get what you deserve. Okay. Um, Hermit card. So yeah, that's also about holding off decisions. So that's confirmation. They don't want you to be making any big decisions the next few weeks. Um, they want you to just trust that you are in a very good position. Um, you know, this person has felt you deeply. They have felt you deeply. They have, and they still think about you. And, and over the next few weeks, it's gonna make them realize geez, I made the wrong decision, I made a mistake, um, you know, and you've got to kind of let them go through that process, so it's important for you not to make any big decisions, and leave everything up to spirit, okay, and I know that's hard, because <laughs> we obviously, you know, we want to progress with our lives, and you know, it's nice to feel that we can make decisions, and it's nice to feel that we can move forward, but ultimately, it's, it is so much more conscious if we can leave things to spirit and that's what spirit is saying, you know, be very open the next few weeks, um, don't make any big decisions about new relationships or any of that um, because in March things are going to go in your favour and there's going to be a new beginning with the fall, okay, you're going to have a new beginning in March um, and um you know, I think it's going to be a time for you where disappointments are going to be over because we've got here the King of Cups reversed. And I just feel like somebody hasn't really been a good friend to you. Somebody hasn't really been emotionally attentive like they should have been. And March is going to be a time for you to move forward finally um, and get what you actually do deserve. So it might be hard through February because you might be sort of thinking like, you know, I've got a heavy heart, this is like a heavy heart, you know, I'm trying to move forward and it's like I still feel sad that things with my twin flame or this person hasn't really gone how I wanted. Um, but um, Spirit is just saying, look, things are going to go in your favour, you're going to get what you deserve, March is going to be a fresh start, you're going to be ready. That's the thing at the moment, I feel 
for a lot of us on this channel, we're not really ready to step into like a new relationship or a new situation right now. Some of us may be, some of us may have just started a new connection, that's fine, then this reading is not for you. But if you've kind of just recently dealt with a situation uh, with somebody who's been emotionally avoidant and, um, you know, it was, they had a really great opportunity with you, but they kind of were very sort of like holding on to the past and sort of pushing it away really and not being open about their feelings. Just know that they are going to regret this. But by March, they're going to be really regretting it because you're going to be moving on, you know. And yes, you may still be disappointed um, about what happens, but you, what you don't realise is, you know, um, you're moving into your wishes fulfilled, you know. That's the card that's underneath. So you are going to be moving into your wishes fulfilled. You're going to be moving into a fresh start. So hang in there the next few weeks, okay? Um, let's just see what your spirit guides are sort of advising as well. I mean, we already know <laughs> that you're actually going to have the magic touch. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, things are... Wheel of Fortune, Magician, Justice, okay? Through February and maybe the beginning of March, it's not the time to make decisions. But the deeper you go through into March, it's going to be a fresh start. Things are going to go in your favour. You will be moving towards your wishes fulfilled. Okay. Um, and Spirit is reminding you how beautiful you are. <laughs> Look at that. Spirit is reminding you how beautiful you really are. You know, you are full of love and light. And this person, unfortunately, has got ego. It's been blocking them and blocking you. And the thing is, um, you don't really want that anymore. You know, you don't really want that anymore. And you know that it doesn't, that energy of ego that blocks doesn't resonate with you. You know, you are somebody that is deeply spiritual uh, here with the hermit card and with the magician. You know, not only that, you're the high priestess because the high priestess is coming up twice. You know, you are deeply spiritual and um, don't rush this. I know that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's quite hard to feel like you can't move forward, but it's so important because spirit's trying to take you deeper into your own energy so that come March, you will be ready. You will be ready um, to move into your future. Um, and spirit is re reassuring you here <laughs> with the beauty card that you are beautiful and that you are headed towards your wishes fulfilled. OK, so that is for people. It's, it won't be for everyone, but it is for people who have recently gone through this type of emotionally avoidant situation. Um, and you might be wondering what what is going to go on. Um, and basically, it does look like your person will regret things. It does look like they may try to come forward to you, um, but you're going to be the one weighing things up um, and you you will get what you deserve, you know. And, you know, it's even possible that this person with the chariot card and the nine of swords reverse, they may clear out their doubts and they may come forward. That is very possible for some of you. For others of you... Um, come March, you're going to be in a much better position and ready, fresh, to go into a new situation with somebody. So that's the message. I hope it helps because um, I know how triggering relationships are. Um, and um, I am sending you lots of love and peace. So uh, if you do want to book in for a reading, you know you're very welcome. Um, and uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. One love.